Imagine a world where every word ever written, every picture ever painted and every film ever shot could be viewed instantly in your home via an information superhighway, a high-capacity digital communications network. What that would mean is you could transform your home into a mammoth interactive entertainment centre with the odd stock exchange and shopping centre thrown in. It sounds pretty grand, but it all comes down to computers communicating. And in fact, that's already happening on something called the internet that anyone in the world with a computer and a modem to connect it to a telephone line can subscribe to. There are over 20 million people connected up. And one person in particular I know is connected is the American president, Bill Clinton. And I know that because I used this computer to write to him today and I've already got a reply from the White House. And here it is, right. Thank you for writing to President Clinton via electronic mail. The president is committed to integrating this dynamic medium into the White House. And it goes on to give some details of his government's policy to encourage the building of information superhighways. Now, I can't electronically mail our Prime Minister, John Major, because he hasn't got a modem. And I can't find out what his government's policy on information superhighways is because it hasn't got one at least nothing beyond the usual thing of leaving it to market forces. But you can do more than just send messages on the internet. There's, there's loads of useful information in here. You can get news, recipes, and, and I found this satellite weather map in there. And um, there are interactive services as well. This is, this is a shopping centre. And here it says it's just off the information superhighway. That's it, its address. And inside, there's... Um, there's a flower shop and it shows me the picture of uh, the flowers I can order and tells me how much they cost. Then all I have to do is tap in the address I want them to go to and of course I have to give them my credit card details to pay. And there's even some stuff about us in here. Let me just find that for you. Because we've just put some details on the internet about uh, tonight's programme and some pictures as well. It's all good fun. But what limits the potential of all this is that it's relatively slow. You can't play a video down this. And in fact, most of that stuff we've had to receive in advance. That's because copper telephone lines are really designed for people to talk down, not for computers. But with an information superhighway built with high capacity fibre optic cables, you're not limited to shifting around text and the odd picture you can send high quality sound and video as well. So, when are we going to get all this then? At the moment, regulations restrict what services can be offered by phone companies, cable television operators and so on. But in America, for any company who's prepared to invest in an information superhighway, there's a new law, which means they can transmit anything they like on it. Video, music, telephones, data, the lot. As long as they let other people provide services on it too. But it's not just a license to print money. The companies will also be compelled to connect every classroom and library free of charge. So society stands to benefit as well. Here in Britain, though, restrictions still apply. BT, for example, isn't allowed to do cable TV. But they're developing some interesting ideas to get what they can out of their existing copper phone lines, like video on demand. We've got a, a setup here to show what they're aiming at. The idea is, from the comfort of your armchair, you'll choose whatever video you want and it'll be played down your phone line to your own TV. It'll not just be movies, though. There'll be other TV programmes too, like this travel programme I've selected here. Now, the other thing is, because it's interactive as well, say I was wondering where he got his suit from, it'd not only tell me that, but I could even buy one here and now via the inevitable home shopping option. Hmm, Amani, fancy that. But this video on demand is a tricky thing to do without the extra capacity of the fibre optic cables. I, for one, will be impressed when the real thing's up and running down phone lines. But it could well be the first taste most of us will get of what'll come rolling down the information superhighway. It's ironic that it'll come on old phone lines, but it could stay that way unless Britain develops its own vision of what sort of information superhighway it wants and how to get it.